Hi friends, it's Miss Jillian again and welcome to Storytime Crafts. Earlier today we read Stand Tall Molly Lou Mellon and learned what it's like to be bullied, especially as the new kid in school. So because it's Bully Prevention Month in October, we are going to do a couple of activities all about pledging against being a bully. So inside your October craft kits, the first thing you'll see printed on card stock is this pledge. And the pledge is something that we sign and we agree to live by. So this says, I am a kid against bullying and I will speak up when I see bullying. So if you see something happening, you tell a grown up. Reach out to others who are bullied. So if you know of a friend that's being teased or bullied, you can make sure you talk to that friend, check on them and comfort them. Also, to be a friend whenever I see bullying. So, to continue to be a friend and don't ignore that person that's being bullied. So, what we're going to do with this is sign our name or write our name at the top. And I know a lot of us can't do that yet. So, maybe our grown-ups at home can help us. And after you do that, I'd love for you to hold on to this. You can either keep it on your refrigerator so you can see it every day. Hang it up in your room. You can put it in a scrapbook maybe for a memory if you want to, whatever you'd like to do. But I hope that you hold on to it. And every time you see it, you remember how important it is to, for one, not be a bully. And two, if you have a friend or if you experience bullying, the things that you can do to help in a situation like that. So I'm going to write my name and then we'll get started with our, with our craft activity. All right, so put Miss Jillian. So there's my anti-bullying ple pledge that I signed. Next, we're gonna make our very own kindness catcher. This is a kindness catcher, kind of like a little origami game that maybe a lot of us grown-ups remember from when we were younger. So inside your craft kit, you will have this colorful kindness catcher printed on regular paper. It's a lot easier to fold than cardstock. So we printed these on regular paper. And you'll have this sheet, which is directions. These are really helpful because I haven't made one of these in a very long time. So our first step we want to do is cut this out along these dotted lines. So we want like a perfect square, not the whole sheet of paper. So we're going to cut out these dotted lines around the edge, okay? There's one side and another. Remember when using scissors at home to be very careful and have a grown-up nearby. Alrighty, so that's all cut out. So our first step is to fold diagonally. So we're going to make a triangle. We're going to fold across like this. Oops, I'm going to put our points together. I'm going to do it both directions. It just makes it function a little bit better in the end. And so you got our half a triangle like that. We're going to do the other direction. And it spells all this out for you on the direction sheet that's going to be included in your October craft kit. Fold that again. All right. So now we're going to take the, we want to have the white, the plain side facing up. That's going to be the inside so that when we unfold, we will have our colors and words showing towards us. So we're going to fold each corner in like this. So all of our little characters will face up. All right. Okay, so that's our next step. So we'll fold, we'll have all our pieces in like this. Then we're going to fold again the same, the same type of direction. So the, each corner in. So this time we will have, whoops, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Just checking. So fold each corner in again. So it should look like this on one side, similar on the other. All 
Then we're gonna unfold that square and fold it back the other way. So each flap gets folded the same way again, but on the other side. There we go. So one side you have all the orangey red color and the other side you have all of our characters. And we're gonna fold it again in half so that our characters are facing outwards. I'm gonna do it both ways just so it's easier to, to move and then both directions. So fold like this and then like this again, but it'll all, like I said, it's all gonna be on your instructions right here. These are very helpful, much better than I am. And then you open it up and your kindness catcher is ready to go. It'll look like this when you're finished. There's all of our different anti-bullying characters. So I'm just gonna, let me count, we'll say number three. One, two, three. So my choices are hope, respect, acceptance, and inclusion. I'm going to choose inclusion. That means to be included, not left out. And it says, give someone a nice compliment. Let's, do we know what a compliment is? Saying something nice about somebody. So I will say that Miss Laura, who folded this first a few weeks ago, did an even better job. She is an excellent folder. Her kind of catcher came out perfect. So that's going to be my compliment to Miss Laura. So I hope y'all enjoyed making your compliment catcher and I will see you all next week. Bye.